My buddy Tyler Moore's got a question. He's a 14 year old. Actually, he says he's he says T Bone. I'm a big 14 year old. I'm capable of pulling 60 to 70 pounds, and I'm thinking about getting a new Hoyt. Uh, which one do you suggest for me? Well, that's a that's a good question. I mean, it should be pretty simple to most folks, but I'd like to let you know that you know as a youngster, even though you're 14, you're still going to be growing quite a lot. So it's really really important, and that's great that you can pull 60 or 70 pounds. Go to your local pro shop, shoot a few of the ones, but make sure you get one that's modular. Most all the Hoyt bows this day and age are modular, but get one that is uh, actually has a uh, just one inner module where it's adjustable. And the importance to that is because you're 14 years old, you're going to be growing quite a bit over between now and 18, 19 years old. So you buy a bow now, you're capable of pulling 70 pounds, you can back it down to 55 pounds, and it's going to last you a few years. Some of these other bow manufacturers, they only have one specific cam which is good in some instances where you're not growing, but for a 14 year old, the application is gonna be that you need it to be adjustable. So make sure that you get one that has an inner module. But go to your local pro shop, try out a few, and, uh, and see what you think about them. Uh, the Avenger, um, some of the, like the 737, some of the Cobalt, the Tricon Sport, the Tricon Junior. Well, the Junior is gonna be a little on the small side, but there's a bunch to choose from. Check them out, and then before you know it, actually, if you're gonna wait another couple months, all the new ones will be out. So. Check out the new Hoyts. They are nice and they are adjustable. Something that you can take advantage of being 14 years old. A big 14 year old. Thank you, Tyler.